Feelings are going to prevent you from achieving your goals. One feeling you get is a feeling of fear to protect yourself, protect yourself from shame, protect yourself from criticism of other people. So you're not going to do certain things for fear. Recently I was dealing with the issue of racism in the United States and there's things that as a white person I never said because I was afraid. I was afraid of being judged. What I was noticing, however, was something else that scares me more than fear itself, and that is self-righteousness. The belief that we are right, and there is no possibility that we can be wrong. Now we all get this sense of self-righteous indignation, anger, frustration, that we have to make it right. We are right, and therefore we need to voice our opinion that this is the right way and that is the wrong way. And when we're in that frame of reference, we tend not to hear other things. We tend to reject the possibility that we could be wrong. And perhaps one of the most dangerous things that we can do to our, ourselves and to others is to believe that there's no possibility we could be wrong. Now, one of the reasons why Sam Harris pushes a scientific method primarily is because it sets up the possibility that each of us can be wrong and therefore we live a life of potential falsifiability instead of a life of blissful ignorance potentially in a self-righteous fervor. So self-righteousness is a very dangerous thing but we all have the capacity to be self-righteous. It was born out of the need to simply believe. It's a part of the team spirit. We believe in the team beyond all reason. Reason is a wonderful invention or evolutionary process, but it is not the dominant process in our brains. Emotions are. When I look at society in general, what I see is a lot of emotion, but not a lot of reflection upon that emotion. Right and wrong, people want to moralize without actually stopping to think what moralization actually is and why they're doing it. We need to get along if we want to survive on this planet. There's no guarantee we will. But to succeed, we are going to have to look at our emotions very carefully and ask ourselves, why does it matter? When you get emotionally mad at something, why does it matter? so much to you that you get angry and you lash out. That is a problem of emotion. That is a problem of self-righteous anger. You stop listening. I've had comments on my YouTube video, which I enjoy all of, with, all of them, even if they're negative, because it makes me think, what would drive someone to make this comment? Do they just don't care? Why would they make a comment? that clearly demonstrates an emotional state, says nothing about me, says nothing about the video, and says everything about them. They're telling me something they don't even know they're telling me this. When you make an arrogant comment, all you're saying is, I'm an arrogant person, and I want you to know I'm an arrogant person. Now, why do you want to tell me that? Why do you want to set yourself up for that? Why do you want to make that display for the rest of the world to see? It's your choice, and I empower you to make that choice. I'm not going to tell you you can't do it. But I'm not going to sit back and say, oh, that was a good comment. I'm probably going to draw attention to it. I'm going to give you a nice, lengthy comment in return to see how you react. See, if you, become, if you either come around, which some people do, they go, oh, wow, that was kind of rude, wasn't it? but I didn't think you'd really take me seriously. I thought you'd just ignore my comment. No, I'm gonna pay attention because that's what I do on my videos, on my comments, is I pay attention because I can pay attention. Some people can't pay attention because they're too distracted by other parts of their lives. It doesn't make it wrong that they don't pay attention. What it does mean is they can't pay attention. Sam Harris can't pay attention. I can. 
which makes it interesting, which is in part of the reason why I take Sam Harris's position to see how people react to that position. Since I've learned his position quite well, I feel I can defend it where necessary and I can explain it where necessary. Even if I disagree with certain aspects of his position, I understand his position and I understand where he's coming from because he makes it very clear where he's coming from. He tries not to be emotional, whereas other people can't resist their emotions and so they become very emotional when triggered by something Harris and other people that support Harris's position actually say. You are being triggered. You are emotionally incapable of listening to reason. Your emotions are getting in your way. Now, this isn't about right or wrong. I don't care if Harris is right or wrong. I do care what is right and wrong. And I will listen to reason, regardless of whether I like it or not. There are many possible answers to the solutions, to the problems that we have in our society. But it begins with us as individuals, developing the capacity to listen to one another. And self-righteousness will not get you there. I'm not trying to be superior. There is much I need to learn, and I want to learn. And I want to learn from you. I want to learn from other people. I am an active learner, or a lifelong learner, if you will. I don't need to be right anymore. There was a time I did need to be right. I needed to be right. It, I didn't feel good unless I was right. Now I accept the possibility that I could be wrong at any point in my life. No matter how much I think I'm right, and I will defend my position if I think it's right, because I need to explain to people why I hold that position. I hold the position for specific reasons. I do not hold my positions for no reasons at all. I do not quote Einstein to hold my position. I have either thought about the position or I have not thought about the position. Sometimes I need to think more deeply about a position and understand exactly why it is I hold that position. And I encourage others to do the same. But if you're surprised if I come back at you with a philosophical explanation of what I see you doing, or a psychological, if, if you will, depending on the situation. Don't be mad. Or you can be mad if you want, but I'm going to draw attention to the fact that you're simply being angry and you're developing an ad hominem attack because that's the only way you know how to respond. I'm going to try to help you out of that mode of thinking because I don't believe that mode of thinking is healthy for you and I don't think that mode of thinking is healthy for society. The issues I bring up are specifically designed to have you think, to catalyze your thinking process, to strengthen your reasoning process. Disagreement is good. Realize where your emotions stand within your disagreement. Are they reasonable? And can you be objective? Can you step outside and disassociate from your emotions? Anyways, that's about self-righteousness. I hope you like my new green screen. I'm um, doing it simply because I can, and I will play around with it as time permits, and if I want to do something a little different. Not much was accomplished in this particular video with green screen, but maybe in the future I will, depending on whether or not you think you want to see it used, because really it's not about anything except for what I think and what you think because that's what I'm after. Thanks for watching and if you liked anything I said today or you think I should continue, subscribe, uh, like, dislike, but truly consider commenting any way you want. Can you do it? Then don't change it on the fly. Apparently you can't. Damn it, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.